Welcome to Everything About Web. My name is Jamie Cavanaugh, and this is the One Column CSS Layout Part 1 tutorial. So let's get started. We have a few assets here to work with. One is our PSD, our Photoshop file, and this is important because it acts as the sort of blueprint of how we're going to build the web page. So any information about color or positioning, we would get that information from our Photoshop document. So this is the page that we're going to build. It's a one column. And we'll see that we've got a header up here that has our logo and our navigation. We've got our con main content here, our content that has a photo and our heading and some text. And then we have a footer that contains our copyright information. So let's talk about how to um, build this page. So I've got um, also a folder called images and this contains the logo and the um, Egypt, Egyptian Empire photo, the main photo. These have already been um, compressed and optimized for the web, so they're ready to go. So the very first thing that I need to do is I need to set up my, well, my file organization. So I'm going to do that right away, and I'm going to start by giving uh, this folder the name of the client, so it's for Smithsonian Education, so I'm going to name it that. And inside of this folder, I'm going to insert two other folders. One is my final web folder. Another one is source files. And source files is where I um, store anything that I use to design or build the um, to design the page, such as building it in Photoshop, if I had any Illustrator files um, for a logo, or if I had a Word document from the client, that would all go into my source file folder. And then I've got my images already um, compressed and optimized, and those I'll be using um, oops, in the web page itself, so I want to be sure that that gets placed into my final web folder. There we go. So inside of my final web folder I have my images folder and then in my source file folder I have my Photoshop document. So I'm ready to go. I also have a folder called templates and just to show you this, this is just a folder that I keep really handy because um, I build a lot of websites and I'm using the same um, uh, you know, layouts. I'm using either a one column, a two column, or a three column. So I have this starter code that I keep so that I can refer to it so I'm not building and rebuilding these layouts over and over. So it's just really smart to repurpose this code. So we'll see in a second that um, I'm going to go to this templates folder to just get my starter co code um, for this layout. Okay, so now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Dreamweaver. And I'm going to start out by creating a new HTML file. So I go to um, File, New. I'm going to select the page type as HTML. And Dreamweaver is going to start a page for me. And Dreamweaver is great because it already has um, you know, those main uh, basic tags and everything started for me. I'm going to title my page immediately because you do not want to um, have any pages that are untitled. So make sure that you add title to all your pages. And now the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this because it's super critical to name your page and to save it to the proper um, folder. And my HTML gets saved to my final web folder. So notice that I've got that selected and it gets saved at the very same level as my images folder. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Really important, title your page and save it right from the get-go. Now I can add some of that starter um, HTML to my page so I don't have to redo this. So I'm going to go to my template folder and go to my one column um, HTML um, code that I've got started here and I'm gonna select what is between my body tags that's what I what I'm gonna add it's got I've noticed that I have 
um, four divs. I've got a wrapper, okay, and this wrapper, notice that I've got the um, opening div tag and then the closing div, div tag is after the other three divs. So inside of my wrapper, I've got a header div, a content div, and a footer div. Okay, so that's um, where my content is going to go. And my wrapper is important because it houses the other three divs. And we're going to see that that's going to be really helpful because I can add some properties to that wrapper tag to do things like centering my entire page in the browser. So that's the, the purpose of having that wrapper div. So I'm going to copy this and close that and paste it in between my body tag. So now I've got um, my starter HTML, go ahead and save this, for my one column. The next thing that I need to do is I need to create a new CSS file. So I'm going to go back up to file, select new, and instead of page type HTML, I'm going to select CSS. And I'm going to um, immediately go ahead and save this. So you can see I'm a stickler for making sure you save immediately. This I'm going to name style.css and again save it to my final web right at the same level as my HTML page and my images folder. And then I'm going to do basically the same thing. I'm going to go back to my good old template folder here and open up this style.css and copy this. This is the CSS for um, a one column. It's giving me a start to creating this layout. So and I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now I've got my CSS and I have my HTML. But um, you might have noticed that nothing's really happening to my HTML page. What I haven't done yet is I haven't linked my CSS to my HTML, and that's really critical. So as I modify my CSS, I obviously want it to affect my HTML. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my CSS file. And I'm going to do that in Dreamweaver by going up to Format. CSS styles, attach style sheet, and I can just browse for it, and there it is. And just say OK. And we can see in the de design view that it's working because I'm seeing the gray color in my um, footer. And we also can notice in my code that here is the link to my CSS file. So now as I modify my CSS, it will affect my page. So this is the basics of setting up your files in preparation for creating a one column CSS layout. In part two, I'm going to talk about how to add content to the page. And in part three, I'm going to talk about adding presentation to the page. So that's going to be mostly about how to um, style your um, page. Okay, so um, that's pretty much the end of our um, part one. And I thank you so much for watching everything about web please visit us at www.everythingaboutweb.com and on YouTube and Twitter.